Hi, I'm Lisa and welcome to the MTHFR Dementia Diva page. Sorry, it's not a page, it's a channel. So today we're going to talk about MTHR, MTHFR mostly and probably exclusively. And so on the other side, I'm going to tell you about my hospital visit today and we'll see you on the other side. So, I get up today and I'm not, I'm feeling fine, as near as I can tell. And I go lay down after the kids get off on the bus and decided to uh, lay down. So I had an appointment and I got up to go to the appointment. And I was having trouble getting dressed, but I managed to get dressed and went uh, to my appointment. And the, it was... Uh, therapy appointment um, for uh, physical therapy and they were telling me that I wasn't acting right and that I wasn't uh, answering properly I was slow to answer and that uh, my eyes didn't look right and that my speech was slurred so they took me in to calling the doctor's office I called the doctor's office spoke with the doctor's nurse and they said I was slurring my words and that I needed to go to the emergency room so they could take all the tests they needed. So I go to the emergency room, they take all their tests, they come back, um, and this is going to turn into a long story about uh, six years ago I went to Mayo's because we couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. It was before the MTHFR double whammy was diagnosed. and. Uh, so I went up to Mayo's because they thought I was having seizures and once they I called up there because I was pretty sure I wasn't having seizures because the medicine they were putting me on was causing me to have seizures I was getting sicker and sicker the longer I was on the medication and every time it happened they just upped the seizure medicine so I called Mayo's and we made the appointment and I'd already started weaning myself off of the seizure medicine and I said what happens when you guys find out that it's not uh, when they, you find out that it's not uh, seizures and they said well we'll find out what it is well I spent two weeks there with a friend and all they did was take tests for um, the seizures and did not check for anything else and decided that since it wasn't seizures that it had to be behavioral problems on my part and so they would and I do see a therapist I and for various reasons but none of them for health reasons. And so I went, we went and uh, printed off all the complete neurological department of uh, Mayo's. They had 20 departments of, of neurology. And so I asked one of the, mem the governing board members came down and met with me. I said, if it only has two choices, it can only be a seizure or only can be uh, psychosomatic, then you might as well get rid of these other 20, uh, these other 19 uh, or 18 uh, neurology departments because and save some money. Because if those are the only two choices, then you really don't need the other 18. Well, he said, would you stay another week if we get tests? I said, no, I'm on a plane in two days, and it happened that Christmas was coming. We were leaving in two days, and so they got started one test, and then they called the doctor that was um, bound to determine that um, it was psychosomatic. Uh, he, they decided to stop all tests. They didn't run any more tests for anything else, and then he sent a let. This doctor sent a letter to my home doctor, saying to not treat it any further because um, there wasn't anything wrong with me. Well, jump forward a couple of years after that, and I get diagnosed with two copies of MTHFR, and only the naturopath doctor seemed to know anything about it. And so the naturopaths get me on the right path, and I start, and I still have what mimic TEIAs. So, like today, for example, uh, the side of my face was numb. Um, I was slurring my speech. My right side was 
weak. I was having trouble walking, keeping my balance. They, of course, all the tests, um, after they ran the test and everything came out clear for um, a tumor or a stroke, they said that they called my, which is a new doctor now, and she does know about a little bit about MTHFR, but she, uh, they said, well, you talk to your doctor, and she looked over your Mayo's um, records, which was code for, this is all in your mind, uh, and I became upset, but I didn't let on, and so I said, well, how am I supposed to know when I'm having a stroke and when I'm not? Well, you can come any time that you think you need to. Well, I'm supposed to follow up with this woman, and I really don't want to go into the Mayo fight, but I will. She needs to understand what my side of the story is. So anyway, jumping ahead, I belong to a MTHFR um, group, the and homozygous group. Uh, that's people that have the two copies for people that don't know what I'm talking about. And it's a gene mutation. So anyway, I put in there all my symptoms, and there are people that are commenting that they have the same thing, and they're actually migraine headaches that don't have that you don't have a headache. It's just a migraine, and causes the exact same symptoms. So I'm feeling kind of hopeful. I'm gonna stop by at least the drugstore and get some um, uh, migraine over-the-counter migraine medicine and see if that helps any. But I'm interested if any of you have ever had that problem um, with having symptoms and, of course, the doc doctor's not knowing, those of you that have MTHFR, because uh, it's getting more known. It's, it's an actual diagnosis now. It has numbers and all that stuff. But I think there's still a lot of people that don't know enough about it to judge it. And with that, please leave your comments below. If you are interested in this topic, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Push the subscribe below if you press the bell. You'll get notifications when I upload new videos. And we'll see you later. Many blessings and have a great day. Bye-bye.